welcome, welcome to another episode of the Back and Now podcast. Your number one spot for hip hop, video games, news, nerd culture, all rolled up into one spectacular show. I'm your host, Akil, joined by. Good to see, man. What's happening? What's happening, everybody? Now, taking. Again, everybody knows I'm from North Kakalak. Casey holding it down the T dot. We come together every week. Bam, bam. Give you that weekly wrap up of Back and Now. Nice. People are like, what is Back and Now? Oh, you're about to find out. Buckle, Buckle up. up. Buckle up. <laughs> Buckle up. Adjust my seat, Casey. How's your week going, sir? Week is going good. Working hard, getting, keeping busy. PS5 is keeping me good company, man. Woo! That Demon Souls, that PS5, I'm loving it right now. How you, you feeling? Crash on you. Nah. Crash on you? About, man, I crashed about six, four, uh, yeah, about six to seven times. Oh, no. I'm sure they're going to have a patch for that soon. My Assassin's Creed crashed. My yeah. Miles crashed one time. Shit. Uh, Watch Dogs crashed. The only game that hasn't crashed was Demon Souls, so that's probably why you're good right now. <laughs> no, I've been playing a lot of different things. Spider-Man, I've been playing the Astros World. I've been playing uh, something else. Okay, crash. One I've been jumping around with. Uh, Borderlands 3, I've been setting that up so I could get my saves back, but that's a that's some hoops. That is some damn hoops you gotta jump through. So dumb. Yeah. So Let me yeah, tell you what I did, because I got the uh I got that Spider-Man, but you need to have the save file from the old game. Yeah, I did that. So I went to GameStop, bought a used copy. I was like, yo, let me hold this for an hour. And stalled <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, because you got rid of the PS4 version or something? Yeah, I, I traded that in. I was like, I'm gonna see no more. Yeah, that's that's the thing they don't use copy. consider that, man. Yeah. yeah By use copy, I, I, I uploaded the... Because uh, you got to upload it to their server, which is dumb. It's so stupid. I did that. Showed back up at GameStop an hour later. I'm like, I'm, I'm back. Let me put that $20 towards Cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, man, I already know you and your shit. You've been doing this for a decade. <laughs> just take, just give me it. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I ain't had no real issues, to be honest with you. Everything's been lovely with it. Nice. I'm be crashing, man. I'm scared to play mine, man. Mm, I'm I got sure, your yeah. warranty on it, though. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, ah, it's, I'm having a great time. Having a great time. What else you been dealing with? You ever have one of those days where you're just like, that's enough social media for me today? That's every day for me, man. That's like that <laughs> that's me. Today, I'm just like, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm good, man. I, I had somebody like comment some crazy shit to me. I was like, these niggas don't even know me in real life. Like, I was like, this exactly. Enough social media for me today. <laughs> People will drain you fucking dry on that yep. shit, man. Just like, trying to like, feel, just trying to feel good about themselves and make you feel bad. Want to wag their finger at you? They don't even. They can't read satire. People don't know how to communicate properly on that yet. They're still in their infant stages of this, even though we've been using these social media stuff for so long we're still in our infant stages so people are losing careers over this people are like getting in arguments for hours with bots with computers that aren't even real on facebook like yep. come on man i can't be going back and forth with people on that people, thing man. man i was just like i don't need this i was like i got a whole i got a real life shit I got a whole real life <laughs> <laughs> real life going on here yeah no but we got to shout out our page though we got a lot of great yes. followers on there that's one concrete spot Come to the Back and Down Podcast fan page. I'm going I'm to I'm show it later in the show when we talk yes. about uh, some of the things we're going to talk about. And what is that, you ask? You're like, what, what are you talking about this week? Yeah, what are we All talking right. about? This weekly wrap-up is going to include Solid Snake casting. Who's going to be playing Solid Snake in the upcoming Metal Gear movie? Women with no legs, no arms, molest children. <laughs> the doozy right there. There's a new relationship expert who popped up on social media. We're going to talk about that. Warner Brother movies coming to HBO. And then finally, we're going to try our best. We're going to, try, we're going to work really hard on this because for me, it's going, to be, it's going to be a doozy. We're going to review Tenet to the best of our ability. <laughs> <laughs> how, how successful successful that will be, I don't know. But we're going to try. Mm-hmm. I gotta let y'all know too that we have our email address. It's the out squad at gmail.com. We're on Instagram and Twitter at the underscore backinow and Facebook, which we just said and we're gonna get into and show y'all later on this YouTube thing, which we're on also. Our Facebook is the Backing Out Podcast, uh, the Backing Out Podcast fan page. Shout out to our listeners. I was looking at our SoundCloud. 
We got like a top three, top five, you know, a ranking thing. So we got Zombie Pikachu. I'm gonna shout you out. Thank you for listening. Uh, Connor, Jeff Coates, thank you for listening. And that one guy, that one guy, that's his name. He's number one listener. <laughs> that one guy? That, that one guy, that <laughs> underscore one underscore guy. <laughs> so yo, guy, yo, respect dog, eh? Yo, I don't know, you know? One was that guy. the Spotify, um, what's it called? The wrap up or something like that? No, no, no. This is on uh, SoundCloud. My bad if I said Spotify. Okay, I'm just saying, did yeah. you check the Spotify one? I didn't check that no, one. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. I forgot my password, man. I'm getting old. It's all good. But oh, I wrote good. that shit down somewhere. I'm like, where the damn password at? Nope. I ain't have it. <laughs> Let's jump it into it. It ain't easy for the two of us to be doing this thing, man, and juggling all these different apps. <laughs> we doing our best, man. We doing our thing. We only getting better. All right, Casey. So you're a Metal Gear fan. Oh, Do you ever God. think they'll make a I- movie of Metal Gear? Before we say all that, I got off of video games years ago. Metal Gear Solid came out. PS1 brought me back. Just as soon as I thought I was done with 64. <laughs> you know, like, like, I'm a grown ass man. Doing? I'm in grade nine. I'm a grown man now. Man. PlayStation came out with that Metal Gear Solid. It's just a box. Pull me in, man. That's a lot. Oh my God. So this being a movie? I'm scared and I'm happy at the same time because I love this franchise and I don't know if they could pull this complicated, cheesy, <laughs> you know, beautiful story properly. I don't know if they could pull it off properly, but I, I'm excited to see it. So what do you got to say? What were you saying, sir? You All right, I was going to say that uh, they, they've casted their snake. Yeah, they did. They found they did. their solid snake. They did. And he is Oscar Isaac, who you made he is. Star Wars as Poe. Mm-hmm. Now, I've seen some, you know, some talk here. He's not tall enough to be Snake. Snake's Tom Cruise that, pulled it know? off. Tom Cruise has been like number one box office action hero for what, 20 years he ran it for? Yeah, he's 5'7", man. He, I don't think he's 5'7". He's probably 5'4", five, 5'5". Five something, yeah, but yeah, I he's think, still like, been running the short, game. They just lie and they'd be like, <laughs> Yeah, five, nah, just put him, just put him five seven. <laughs> <laughs> so when you hey, were, man, I'm five seven, so what, what can yeah, I say? You like, know? When you actually are five seven, it sucks because yeah. you're just like, Damn. No, it doesn't. It's fucking great. No, because people are like, Nah, nigga, you lying. You're not really five seven. Oh, like, yes, bullshit. I am. <laughs> nah, bro, you Tom cruising. <laughs> you out here cruising. So what? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Five seven with some Tims. <laughs> yeah, you ever see those lot those big ass shoes Tom Cruise was wearing in the movies? The thick yeah, he also ass, has like high heel shoes on. Yeah, some thick ass nineteen seventies disco shoes. But whatever. Oscar Isaac, they're saying he's too short. Yeah, they're saying he's too short. Bun those guys. Bun them people saying that. The American Guatemalan actor o- o- Oscar Isaac mm-hmm. will be playing Solid Snake. Now you think he could do the voice? That's what I'm worried about. I read a report that he loves this game. He loves Solid Snake, and he said that he wanted to play Solid Snake about five years ago. He was like, it's one of the video game roles that I would do is play Solid Snake. So I'm hoping he, you know, he does the, uh, what are you talking about? Lolly, la la lulu. You know, all that type of stuff. He comes with the voice. This is Solid Snake. You know, like, I hope he does it. I hope he's just not like, oh, uh, yeah, did you miss me? Ah, uh, <laughs> you know he Hi just guys. does his pole roll, his pole voice. Hi Hi guys. Snake here. Did you miss me? It's Snake. It's Snake here. Nah, yeah, I'm just like who's that? I'm, gonna, play, I'm um, like this. Uh, who's a nerdy scientist again? I keep thinking of Ocelot. That's not the one that pisses himself. I don't remember his name off the top of my head right now, but like, who's uh, gonna take that role? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they could easily fill that. <laughs> they could easily fill that one. <laughs> that's an easy sniper game. wolf that's gonna be a good one they could do margot robbie with that yeah now is he too old to play this role so i'll think old as shit man what you mean is he yeah sometimes most of the times hmm. he looked 40 all the time <laughs> it's all them damn cigarettes <laughs> he's like <laughs> he's just like um even when he was young like he had lines and i was like that's <laughs> That's, yeah, we'll see. Even when he was in his 80s, he just looked like a 40-year-old man with just for men gray. He could pull it off because he's a, like, his whole thing of, you know, the gen- his genetics. I don't want to get into too much spoilers if people don't know. 
But yeah, because you know, the movie's gonna come out and I say something here. It's like, oh my god, he's three years old, man. Like, yeah, but I, because of his genetics, you know what I mean. That might be why he looks older. So they might be able to pull it off. I'm excited to see him. My thing with this is he might be too busy because he's doing got Dune done. You got to promote that. He got a whole bunch of other movies he's working on that he's coming out with. So does he have time to do this role? When are we gonna get this movie? He's gonna make five time. years from now. Like, they if I had going? to do this for Star Wars the current state where Star Wars is right now, where the Mandalorian's better than the past four movies. Nah, man, you're doing Star Wars. Don't be crazy. No, no, I'm not. I'm you're doing- Oscar Isaac. You what? had the, you, your character was supposed to get murked on the first of three, and then they brought him back. He's like, they could make his character something dope. You're telling me you, if you're Oscar Isaac, you're not going to do the, one of the biggest franchises of all time? I'm just saying, if they say, hey, we need Poe to come back for something, but... But you have to do Solid Get Snake. We're going to choose Poe or Solid Snake. So if they're like, yo, you can be Poe and it's your own movie. You're the lead because you did they so well tell, in the trilogy. They lying like hell. Yeah, dude. nah, man. Yeah, yeah, not you, like both that. are leads. Okay, let's do it. Both are lead movies. Poe's on no lead. How come he can't be a lead? He Look how, this, the, the, how horrible yeah, those other three movies were. The rest of the movie until later nah, on man. in the film. Star Wars is still the top dog of the action fucking movie Looks opera. Fuck, like, though. Metal Gear Solid is a risk. Metal Gear Solid is a big risk, man. Star Wars has like two or three good movies. The rest are mediocre. Metal Gear is still a risk. Star Wars is a bad. Metal Gear is a a sure shot. That could grow. Yeah, for sure. But it's still a risk. It's an investment. You know what I mean? So He he could make it his John Wick. He could. Or it couldn't. It could be just like or the game where it's it popular man. to some people. Like it even in the gaming man. community. All over again. <laughs> even in the gaming community, there's gamers who are like, I don't understand Metal Gear Solid at all. I just like, you know, just keep it simple. This is too complicated. So, you know, and who knows? Now, who's the director? Because you need like, I want like a, one of the, I would have took that guy that does those uh, A24 films. Hmm. And made it really artsy fartsy. So the director is Jordan Vaught Roberts. Not familiar with him. Mm-hmm. They said that this film has been dormant either. for a while. Oh, really? Yeah, so I guess it's been talks. Uh, let me see what this guy, what movies he's done. And the director, he's done uh, Kong, that was great. Island. That was a great, that was a good movie, man. Uh, Kings of the Summer. Kings of Summer. Mm, don't know that one. I've never watched Year of the Worst, but he directed a couple of those. Yeah, no, he did the that. live action trailer for Destiny 2. Oh, those are always fire. <laughs> <laughs> so he knows video games. So maybe yeah, he he's a big video game, game yeah. fan. Maybe he's a video game fan. Maybe he's a Metal Gear Solid fan. If he is a fan of this of this thing, I'm I'll be very happy. Cause because Metal Gear is very flashy. You need a flashy director. Yeah. Yeah, Metal Gear is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. That's why I was like, there's a lot on your plate. And then the storyline with the Lali Lulale. <laughs> yeah, that, that be part two, though, for sure. <laughs> they can't put that in part one. That'll be for part two. They can, they can and are they going to just go off the basics, like off the story, because it doesn't hit as hard? Like, I think they're going to come up with their own shit, and then the fans are going to. Nah. I hope they stay along the lines of part one, two, and three, knowing they're going to do a trilogy, but they take things from part three and kind of put it in part one in a weird way to, to make the trilogy more concise to people watching the movie because it's not going to make sense if it's in a video game style exactly people like, are like yo what the hell who is this blonde guy do you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> so i hope they do things where it's like oh it makes sense because this he had a quick flashback while he's you know something happened so uh, you know like he sees a sniper looking at him in a distance and he, he's like what the mom you know what i'm saying and then it gives a quick psh- shows flowers in a garden and he's just standing there about to have a big fight to the death. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What about Gray Fox? That would be a great role if like you don't want to show your face. Yeah. Donnie Yen. Wait for Raven, man. Raven too. I could see um that wrestler guy being Raven. What's his name? Batista. Batista would uh, kill Raven. I forgot all about Raven, man. Which one was Raven? Raven I just remember Metal the Gear muscle Gear man, Gear the big Gear muscle Gear man Gear. guy. That will hmm? die if you just take your time. That's uh, Metal Gear 3. That's what I said. Metal Gear 3, there's an old man that just dies if you take your time. Raven, I, would, I wouldn't I would do Batista. Batista's in too much shit. There's, there's bigger He's a wrestlers. big call right now. There's definitely more wrestlers. But I'm just saying who the big call actors off the top of my head. 
I'll just I'll just grab a random like yo. You don't even have to say much. Just go. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I've been <laughs> waiting for you, Snake. <laughs> grab so, uh, I would take Braum Strowman. Google him. And who the hell is that? <laughs> he is like the. <laughs> Let me get my Googles on. Get your Braun? Googles on, man. He... Braun. Braum. Braun. <laughs> Strowman. Braun. Oh God. Big dude. Okay. Looks like Kratos now from God. He actually he dressed up like Kratos from God of War for um for Halloween. He used to and be he fat act. and greasy as hell, and then he just got ripped. Nice, good for him. Yeah, he got together like he just went on that that keto diet or something. Okay, he's been in some movies. Been in so, one. Want to wrap up this conversation? Cause this, yeah, no, I'm very yeah yeah from I'm very keto happy to keto. I'm excited. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna transition from Kedo to Pedo, right? Yeah. Here. So, this story. There's a woman. Mm-hmm. First of all, she has no arms. None. No legs. None. And she's been charged with sexual molestation. How? Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. How, Casey? <sighs> Saw the picture of her. That's a strong looking throat. That's all I gotta say about that. Mm. It's throat looking strong. Strong. <laughs> if you're wondering how. Amen. So, first her name, her name is Mariah Scott, 29, was indicted in the Greenup, that's a weird name, Greenup County for probation, for prohibited use of electronic communication systems to procure a minor for sex and two counts of unlawful transactions with a minor. Hmm. Now she was born with a disease, which that uh, she she was born without arms and legs due to the to the disease. But they celebrated her a couple like months ago, or no, in twenty eighteen they celebrated her and they gave her a robotic arm. And oh, she was okay. Excited for it. Yeah. And I want to show you all this. I want to show you the uh, the robotic arm and the happiness in her eyes. And let's see. Little it. did we know the sinister plans that she had. <laughs> <laughs> with that robotic arm, Casey. Let's see this thing. Yes. Your volume is dead. You gotta turn, hit the volume if you want me to hear that. All right. right you ready? Let's check this out. One teacher in Greenup County, Fetch, isn't a game she plays with her dog. No, fetch is the nickname. Why they gotta? Why they gotta go in on? Yeah, she can't play Fetch. Because yeah, she has no hands. Dang shit, man. <laughs> with their little side half ass jokes. They're like, ah, we got to go She's that given yeah. the innovative robotic arm that. that is transforming her like, life. Raven wow. Brown, the story. So, for most teachers, picking up pencils and carrying paper she's not bad. Look look every day. No, she ain't bad. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Russell High in Greenup County. That wasn't the yeah, best part of what's called tetraneuria, <laughs> and it is just Look the continual neck. absence of all four limbs. Her life Strong. is now different in a new up. way with a brand new addition that will she help cute. unfamiliar yeah. levels. I feel really special, actually, and very you grateful. Can get match without a match that she's just like, they thought of me. I got no arms. When they thought of this, she likes to call it yeah. Fetch, the robotic arm she received a few weeks Wait, ago. And then I guess you kind of get why it's called Fetch, because now I can it's kind of, fetch kind of things myself. Little did we know she was fetching some young butt. Oh man, that's a shame though, man. Ah oh, man, she's probably just insecurities, you know? She's just giving it wherever people are throwing it to her. Here's my thing, Casey. Here's Kim's my probably thing. like, I'll stay after class. And she's like, you better stay. Let's, let's have a scientific conversation here buddy all right so you look at the animals and the predator and prey system and they're in like a prey they're they're preying on that predator okay no that doesn't work okay <laughs> yeah, the <I'm> predator like... <laughs> <laughs> preying on the prey but the prey has mechanisms to fight against that predator hmm. now that mechanism might be speed it might be you no know, way the camouflage or you know like the frog, they have like they, they they secrete some type of like stuff that makes people hallucinate. Yeah. Now this predator has no arms and no legs, but she has a wheelchair and she has that robot arm. Mm. Her prey has everything they need to get away from her. 
I know we shouldn't victim blame, but damn, run up a ramp, <laughs> go into a parking lot with gravel. You gonna tell me Hot Wheels over here gonna roll up on you with the metal arm? How old are these kids? We shouldn't victim blame Casey. How old are these kids? These kids wanted that neck. <laughs> That's what I'm about to say. Like, yo, you're, you're trying to be all political correct right now. Like, come on, bro. Like, this is back in our podcast. Let's really think about this. <laughs> How old are these kids? <laughs> it's like, man, she finds the hell, man. She got that neck, though. Exactly. These kids probably took advantage of her as she took advantage of them, man. Like, let's be real. Like, come I on. feel like the story was a reach, Casey. I feel like, it was, yeah. I, don't I feel know how like she, she needs that. to stand her That's ground against these allegations. <laughs> and stand up to what they said about her. Yeah, fight back. Throw some punches back. Exactly. Casey, okay, let's say, all right, let me put myself in the in the praise perspective. She's like, I'm coming to get you. Clean clack, clean clack. She coming up to me. She rolling up on me. I'm going to knock that wheelchair over. They didn't do that. I'm coming for you. Click clack, click clack. I'm running up her ramp, Casey. Exactly. I'm going to close the door. I'm going to unplug her wheelchair. Let's go three steps up a staircase. Like, I'm going to throw her down on the ground. You ever seen that show, The Oblongs? No. <laughs> Do you remember The Oblongs? No, man. There was a there was a father on there. No hands. No feet. But he made it work. And that's how she's shaped. She's shaped like the Oblong father. You telling me that you're going to get beat up by the dad from The Oblongs? You a grown... You know these 16-year-olds that are big as hell. You got beat up by this man? By the oblong man? <laughs> by this guy? <laughs> oh, that show. Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, come man. on now, Casey. Ah, oh, man. This is just sad, man. You can't victim blame, but come on now. Yeah, let her get hers, though, man. Jeez, let her live a little. <laughs> These kids out here, like, they probably like... How old are these guys, man? They're, they're probably 17-year-old like kind of like assholes. Bro. She whipped out that Winter Soldier arm and jacked me off. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the thing is, the claw that she uses looks like those vending machine claws. Yeah, it does. She probably kills that. She was out here fetching some young butt. Yeah. And when I looked, there's a mm, bunch of like, it's a bunch so. of white guys. Come on now. Come was on. it? Yeah, I looked at the school. Ah, uh, man. She was talking these to guys taking advantage of white guys. I was like, yeah, because them black guys would beat her ass. They're taking advantage of her insecurities, man. Dang, Ain't no right. damn way a black child about to have Hot Wheels over here. Yeah, and then roll she, up on them. Yeah, nah, they're taking they advantage grab, of their insecurities. Grab the cheeks. You get an ass beat. Yeah. Black kid would be like, "Uh, uh-uh, bitch." What your? First of all, they were roaster. Cause you know we could get ignorant sometimes, Casey. Yeah. You know we could get the. Uh, you got no hands. <laughs> you got no feet. What you? <laughs> that neck, dude. And you know kids, the black kids would be like, yo, no feet, no hands, have an ass. They would roast, they'll, they'll break her down mentally. And that's why when I heard she was touching kids, I was like, it wasn't black kids. <laughs> at the end of the, she's probably like, in the, at the end of the day, I got mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what are they going to do to her? Put her in, okay, in when they arrested her, what'd they do? Did they pick her up like luggage? <laughs> they, just, they put her in the truck? Man. That's just horrible, man. Man, you innocent until proven guilty, man. Uh, this, the glove ain't gonna fit. Not that, do it. Ain't no glove. Yeah, the glove ain't gonna fit. Ah, oh, man. This is no just bad, hands. Man. This is a bad thing. It's funny in our Facebook group, everybody's like, how? What? How? <laughs> you know, like, they have no imagination. <laughs> oh, That's man. not what Waka Flock of Flame meant when he said do it with no hands. <laughs> okay? That is not what he meant. Lord. Ah, again, Casey, we can't victim blame. But when the claw starts to clap on the fetcher, <laughs> the fetcher turns into the catcher. Mm-hmm. And she was out here catching them. So they caught her typing. First of all, how's she typing, baby? I don't know, man. Maybe it's voice chat. So she, you tell me she's talking loud to her machine to type. So she out here talking. I'm trying to grab some cheeks and the computer's typing it out for her and the computer's probably like did you mean leaks? No! Cheeks! (laughs) Cheeks! 
<laughs> right I mean, cheeks for me. She probably never ate good. You know what I mean? Like she probably never ate good. She's like, fuck it, I'm starving. You telling me you nobody over there. picked that body up and just that's what she needed. Poor soul, man. Can't put her in jail for this. What's she gonna do? She gonna just roll about the jail? Yeah, you can't put her in jail, man. It's gotta be no, no he can't be doing that. So Making money, get up, get some male prostitutes, man. You, come on, just wait, uh, just wait till those that. guys are five more years. They could be a prostitute by then. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I may have given money to a paraplegic man that have sex with prostitutes. Well, it's the season of giving. It's the holiday. <laughs> and- <laughs> Yeah, it was story. October. Long, long story. Thanksgiving. Story. Bought a TV from a, a friend, you know, fell off the truck, and he takes care of paraplegic people. Yeah. There's a guy there, and he's like, yeah, you know, every once in a while, I, I give them a little ting here and there. And I was like, you know what? This one's on me. Mm-hmm. Gave him a little $20 to spend on, on whatever he chose to spend it on. Exactly, man. He's a grown-up. Let him, you know, she if she just did that, man, she would have been all legal, all good. It, it, there's a place in Europe. I don't know if Norway or something where it's legal, where if you're if you you know if you're in her situation like that, you can it's legal for them to get it. To just I think she know? just took the wrong path, Casey. She just yeah, knew man, it was only and just rolled about that camera. Just you know, no hands or no just titties. She and could have some money for it. Call you know? it TNT titty and torso. <laughs> That's all we want sometimes, Casey. <laughs> That's all man does watch sometimes. <laughs> man does just watch waste. <laughs> he does it to the he has it in an abundance. She has abundance of it. <laughs> she took this far left when she could have went right. Oh, man. Yeah. I would if I was a policeman, I'd just be like, nah, you gotta you can't be doing it like Do this. It. You gotta figure this out. You can't be doing it like this. And TNT. you boys should be ashamed of yourselves. I would have marketed it to Trinidad TNT TNT. <laughs> yep. She could make a killing. Her name's out there now. This is great marketing. What that butt look like? Because if she has some <laughs> junk back there, some brothers would have, you know, they like, she ain't got no hands, bro, or legs, bro. She loyal. She ain't running away nothing. Maybe they'll be in the wall, at the mall, just pushing her, smiling. Like, yeah, it's my, it's my shorty right there. Yeah. She's probably a really nice person, too. She just had a mental breakdown or something. I'm reading these comments, man. One guy just put, I think they regret giving her the arm now. Yes, they do, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord show them tricks and shit more, man. she was she was fine she was like uh silver tongue t- you know talking them with the with the tricks she's like look at this can you do this though <laughs> you know making it spin oh man i think this episode uh, is gonna be called tnt just like tenet yeah, man. Screw it, baby. Get yours, man. Just go for somebody older. That's all, you know. Exactly. They, they, they have a lot of well-bodied people your age that were ready. Yeah, exactly. Ready. All you had to do was create that fans only. Yeah. That would have been some different shit. Like, yo, bro, you see that girl? Just waste. Yeah. Just she should go on it. some talk shows right now. Market herself. You know, get out and put you're herself out, out there. Make it I'm IG. Like you out here grabbing Chad and Steve. <sighs> When Lamont was ready for you, bro. <laughs> oh well, yeah. mm. Doctor Umar, jo- um, what's his name? Johnson, probably mad as hell right now. <laughs> 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 How could you, sister? <laughs> How could you? Oh man, Lord! All right, what's next on the docket? Yeah, Relationship. Man, I pray for you. Expert. Relationship expert. Yeah, who is this guy you've been telling me about? <laughs> I saw this all over the IGs and the Facebooks and all that, but I'm not, I'm like, I don't want to see no man break down no woman, man. I ain't trying to see that energy. So what is this? Oh man, man. let's start. Let's start first with him breaking down other men. Shameless plug here. Let's show the back in the podcast fan yes. page. That fan page. Fan page. Fan page. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're here. Yeah. <laughs> Check out check out the page, y'all. Back in that podcast fan page. Oh, you got the the white background. You got to put, put the black on. It looks yeah, man. Nah, man. I want my background white like supremacy. Man. Trying to keep yourself safe on Facebook, eh? Yeah, Stay yeah. Out of jail. <laughs> even, I tell you, man. I don't even argue with people no more. It's a block. Nah, man. It's not worth it. Who cares? I ain't going back to jail. All right. So let's play this shit right here. He sounds like a real Bond villain. Huh? You have a big dick. 
I mean, it's above average. I ain't no Ron above, Jeremy. No, 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 no. I asked you if you had a big dick. I didn't say it was above average. I don't know what that is, really. Uh, nigga, you know if you got a big dick or not. Stop the bullshit. in that man's voice. Uh-huh. Every dude know whether or not he got a big dick. I know I got a big dick. You don't know? I mean. You don't have a big dick. That's the point. You don't have a big dick. You don't have a big wallet. You a big, you a fat dude. You got a lot of nerve thinking you should get choosing signals at five foot ten and three hundred pounds, making less than a thousand dollars a month at twenty years old. He said, "Get choosy." Yeah, he said. Women should approach you. What they get? They don't even get a big dick. He's funny. <laughs> what's the problem, Casey? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's his whole thing? Is he trying to just, is he taking people who have ego issues and he's straight? No, people call him for stuff and then he'll break, he just gives them the brutal honest truth. Like, he basically says, what are you bringing to the table? And yeah. He takes, you know, he listens to all these different standards and things mm. that these people want and then yep. he's like, that shit ain't realistic for you. Okay, so he's more of a humbler. That's his whole thing. I guess so. He's like, bro, you're broke, you're fat, the dick's small. How does he know his dick is small? Because the man was trembling. Like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Poor guy probably hasn't seen his pecker in years. Yeah, Belly so the, big. The uncertainty in that man's voice. Well, 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 well. <laughs> <laughs> he starts shaking. He's like, this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the meat is small. Yeah, oh, damn, right? man. Just got him like that. No long wood. Yeah, it's true. Why do people have this high, high, high over expectation of other people, and they don't even have it for themselves? People have unrealistic, yeah, standards. And, so they're calling him for this shit. Yeah, they want. Okay, they, he's they not just running around. Okay, I thought it, the way it looked like he's just running around Zoom calls. <laughs> he's just like you, <laughs> meet me on Zoom. <laughs> Hitting people up on Facebook. Hey, here's the link. <laughs> Connect. We gotta talk. The new thing so is they're hitting him up man. and asking him stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll say that like the new thing is Clubhouse, like how I was yeah. like invite only. I guess yep. they're just jumping in the Clubhouse room and be like, by the way, since I'm here, you ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me break it down for a second. So the most infamous one was where he was going in on this girl. Yeah, I seen this in the scrolls. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna take it. I didn't watch it though. I was like, ah oh, man, I don't want to see this. You want to see it? You want? I didn't know the whole thing, so I'm like, okay, I don't want to see this, some random guy breaking down some random woman. I don't want to see that. You know what I mean? The part of me is like, that's somebody's daughter. What's wrong with you? Nah. And then the other part, like the devil on my shoulder, is like, that shit is kind of true though. <laughs> let's see this. Let me let me get let's break this down. All right, let's let's take a. Let's take, oh, sorry, I hit the wrong button. I wanted to hit the share button. All right, so let's take a, a, a gander at this one right here, y'all. Damn, hair's looking thick. All right, so let's take, we're we'll going to give our- I honestly wanted one. a six-figure guy, uh, is what I'm realizing. And okay. ma'am, and that's my point. You ladies all feel like, listen. He looked like Thanos right there. <laughs> Got the hand up. <laughs> no, Thanos is always in that chair, just levitating, just looking at <laughs> It's a nice little setup you got. I feel like you're the exception to the rule. And then when like someone like myself skin. comes along and gives you like that, a, Bishop a Jenkins right there. Always instead feel. of just accepting it, it's like, yeah, but yeah, but I'm special. You don't know any men on this level mm. that are not your father, that aren't related to you. That means you don't know these men. You don't know where to go get them. You don't know what they want. But you're still saying, pick me. They don't want mid 30 year old baby mamas. Lord Jesus. They're trying What's to get right, man, but they don't want those. Let's, let's, let me crack this lie. They do. You're an Instagram model. You can have 11 kids. Hmm. You got the fans only and the booty fat. People uh, still going after, uh, what's his name? Nicole Murphy? Isn't that uh, Eddie Murphy's ex wife? Yeah. Damn near 50. She's she's a rare rare specimen, man. I ain't no this one. woman believes she's a rare specimen. <laughs> <laughs> That's the <my> point. <laughs> yeah. That's the point. Let's continue. Wait, so wait a minute. So wait a minute. So he's telling her that the guy she wants wouldn't want her. He's he's telling her that the guys that she wants don't want her out. That's his opinion. That's Let's his keep opinion. watching. Yeah. Continue. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Why is that so? Okay, go ahead. Raise my mic up a little. 
Um, my from my point of view, I feel Jack. like. I get what you're saying. They, they, they do have better options, but also those better options are younger girls. Those younger girls don't necessarily are necessarily twenty year olds are not necessarily attracted to forty five year olds. Bullshit. I'm, I'm fifty one. I, I can't beat them off with a stick. That's another one. On you. All right. So what he said was that the young girls don't want no old men, and he said bullshit. Yeah, that is bullshit. But can't beat them off me with a stick because the thing is, women want security, and that security to them sometimes it comes from an older man. Sometimes it comes from like them loud, thuggish. I got guns, blah blah blah. Because that's yeah. that false sense of Se- false sense of it. Yeah, that those guys bring. So at the end of the day, women want security or protection, real or fake. Yeah, protection. Okay. Let's continue this dissecting of this. You lies. No, younger women are always younger women are attracted to the older men. What are you talking about? So can you see me? Yes, I can. I see you, girl. Okay. So do you feel like a woman like me? Uh huh. What would you rank yourself on a scale from one to ten? You cannot mm, use seven. Would I rate myself? Mm, just your face. Um, my face when I wake up five, but when I put myself together six. That's okay. an honest opinion. And how tall are you? That? Five five. Five. I'm sorry. In case you guess what? Mm. I got five on it. <laughs> yeah, she's insecure about herself. But yeah, she's just making it worse because she really doesn't even see herself as a you know. First of all, we can't we can't number ourselves. Yeah, exactly. She shouldn't have fell into that pocket that he's putting her. Either he trapped I mean? her like, with that. Yeah, because he locked her in the pokeball when he did that. Yeah, one. it's like, what's he trying to do? Better her or just like completely tell her she's expired? It's too done. It's done. You know what I mean? Like, what's his? What's his? Uh, he is he trying her. to help her be better or cool. just take her out? You know what I'm saying? Does she walk away from this so. conversation feeling like you know what? I'm a, I'm gonna make moves different or better? You going in for the kill now? All right. See, dress size. A three. Dress okay. size don't is matter. It's not bad. If you can give yourself a five, that's average. Yes. So average looking women tend not to get high earning men. They tend to get average men. So, that's not true. Um, did you, did you, I mean, did you stop right there. Men, stop right the there. Woman. Stop right there. And they buy them a new body. That's yeah, but she, he's going by just physical physical shit like that's bullshit he needs to be getting into more things like is she a person that actually does know how to build a man up or build people around her up and to want to be something better they never she he never got into the real things the real pillars that makes a, a person a better person or yeah, he's, he's oversimplifying he's, basically he's talking about her that. face he's talking about her waist that stuff that that stuff doesn't matter at all that stuff's irrelevant there's enough people look at oprah Enough men would be like, yo, Oprah's a ting. I'll tell you. I was like, yeah. you know? I was like, come on, what is he talking about? He's just talking about shallow stuff and he's trying to, he's really just trying to break her down. He's trying to protect his shallow. No time for that. Yeah. Just because he has young girls, young girls beating the stick. They're just trying to have a good time more, more times than those girls. A lot of them. Exactly. So like, they're not trying to stick around. You want to get somebody who's actually going to build with you and build something better, an empire. And he, he didn't ask her no questions that has to do with what her education is, what she's striving. And most importantly, Casey, what that? that ass look like? It might what be. What that ass yeah. look like? For real, like, you know? Exactly. Yeah, he didn't ask nothing. I'm, I'm expecting the next ginormous. Question, guy to be like, yo, can you cook? Can you cook? That ass look like, what you, what? No, but this guy, it seems like he's like trying to be his alpha male, break down the women bullshit. bullshit thing. And man, nah. she might have the fattiest of fatties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All we see is that we judge in face, like we judge face. Come on now. Buffy the body did not. The woman's name was Buffy the body, not Buffy the face. We ain't looking at like no Buffy the body, though. Her face kind of similar to Buffy still. We're trying like, to see that ass man tier. personality. <laughs> yeah. He didn't, he's not asking her no questions of growth or development. He exactly. Just, First of all, where the ass? What the ass look like? <laughs> he's he's he putting her on the, question. <laughs> putting the ball on the driving range, and he's just trying to, te- he's trying to look to, to build up for that, that exactly. big drive. You know, it's like, come on, that's some. Some the, sucker shit. Look like opinion. she got some some chest going on there. He even, the she got the little bow tie shirt on. She tried to get herself nice and cute. You know, she hiding the dusty pillow behind her. You know, she's trying. 
men like him got women embezzling money, like taking all they shit. Yeah, yeah like a nigga in prison. I he's not saying nothing yet. Like when she says she's a five, that's where you gotta be like, okay. You gotta say know. no, sweetheart. You you're can't seven. think like that. You're seven. You, you gotta want to. Points. Yeah, if you want to get this type of thing, you've got to be thinking in a different way. You know, he hasn't done none of that yet. He's just like, yeah, okay, what else can I knock you out with? What else can I hurt? You know, it's like, nah, that's Heart. toxic shit. Here, breathe and digest. You're 35 years old. He's 35. You can look around and see the world. You don't tend to see higher earning men with average looking women off rip. If you do see them, they got them, they got their average looking woman when they were both really young and he built his way up. What he's saying right there is that when guys have money, they upgrade their wives like cars. And that ain't true at all. That's that generalization stuff. That's that, that generalization of, of that, ain't it. that showman type of guy, that, that flashy type of dude with money. Yeah, he's not talking about the like real, nah. He's generalizing in a negative way, in my opinion. Stereotypes. Everything yeah. he's saying is based off a stereotype. That and he's insulting like, all men, all, let's say black men that are that are super successful. He's saying, yo, if you're a black man, you're going to be these, the negatives of the athlete who, who makes it big, you know, who leads you a white woman or a light skin. Yeah, like he's, he's really, that. he's making us look bad. You know what I mean? It's like, so that's why, oh, become successful. This is how we're going to be. That's not the case. Nah, man. Mom. My Too guy much Red Bulls Red Bull on his on his yeah. table. <laughs> Too much Red Bulls. How are you gonna have a Red Bull and a candle? You try to chill or get hype? Like, what are you really doing? <laughs> he needs to cool down. Like the blue light he got on with the hue light. He got. He needs to. He needs to cool out and chill. Oh, and not, my guy, most, man. See, the internet loves this toxic energy. People love to see how a person would react when their back is against the wall for for survival. It's a mental primitive thing with humans. But this thing has become this toxic, how would a person react when their back is against the wall when they get cheated on? How would a person react who's an alpha like Beyonce? She got cheated on, how how she reacting? So everybody wanted to hear that album. You know, like this type of energy is something that people are ultra consuming in this world right now. And I, like, I ain't for it. Ain't and he for knows that. Okay, so I've been called toxic, man. You ever, would that surprise you? Big surprise right there, huh? Nah, me? Me, oh, oh, me. <laughs> no, like a lot of this bullshit he's saying is stuff I used to say in college. Yeah. And I was and jackass and I was how old were you? How old were you then? I was like 17. And yeah. at my end goal, like it was some predator shit. It was, I'm going to break you down mentally. Yeah. I'm going to break you down. And that break. ain't it. You know, you learned. And that, that was it. it. It was all it was some showman fake bullshit. And that's basically what he's doing. He's too old to be acting like that. This man exactly. You realize that at a young age that that ain't it. That's not it. That's, That's not, not the it, way. Man. Yeah. So let's keep playing this. Let's Eighteen year old Akil is not it, man. Because I'm not judging him off of the. You know what I mean? Like I watched the thing at first. I was like, yeah, I like the room. It looks nice, clean suit, got a fresh lineup. But he's not saying anything of substance. He's not saying anything of really humbling her in the way that will um, enlighten her. I haven't heard anything I'm, I'm yet. I'm disappointed because he, he didn't say, let me see that ass. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. Let me see that ass. He's going to keep it fun. If he's trying to keep it fun. The you're talking about does not go for an average looking woman. She makes six figures. She's 35. What's I mean, my body is not average. So, But you're, uh, ma'am, uh, you please don't. See, that's Casey, that's the, that's the confirmation that that ass fat. Exactly. She said that body ain't average. Mm -hmm. Let me find out. She's 35. Ass fat, six figures. Her face ain't average too. She just don't got the nice setup like him. She just got her ring. She's she didn't got no ring light, fine. nothing. She's got a flat, the regular light just hitting her face. Like the the light is just bleeding her whole face. You can't really see. You know what I mean? We don't even. Nah. He might have an amazing gag reflex and a great personality. She might have and a strong trunk. Break her down. She must have a heavyweight trunk. You know what I mean? So like exactly, she said, but my body ain't average. That's the all. That's she, the confidence. I, I just I need. honestly just wish she was like, but my mind ain't average. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Because not everybody could start a business put him and on his heels. figures. That ain't easy. That ain't she not easy. Make that sound like that. Oh, what everybody. Shut your ass up with your blue exactly. lighting, pinky and ring, red bull. Forty years old with a pinky ring. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> bath and Body Works candle. I'm saying, <laughs> yo, get the hell on. Make me say it. Say it. Say what? 
He's like, Lord, tell me, don't please don't make me. <laughs> he's waiting. He's loving this. Advice. I love you. I'm giving you. I'm giving you advice, but you're not taking it. The it. advice is, ma'am, ma'am. Your average verbal diarrhea. I'm taking it in, but okay, but you're not accepting the fact that okay, average looking women. Average looking woman who's older. Average looking older. older woman with a 13 year old son. Yo, you tell me she's older. She and let's say that, you know, she got no eggs and you know, she's 35, six figures, and the booty fat. Guess what, Casey? Raw. Raw, 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 raw. <laughs> Yo, she's probably like, yo, I oh. had kids. I'm not trying to do that again and right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the tubes might be tied. Kids, raw. Nah, what man. this man <laughs> talking about? It was a good ass time. I ain't got to pay for her food. Exactly. She own her own business. She's thinking and about mortgage. She's not thinking about be going bugging to me and harassing me because she's busy because she owns her own business. Exactly. She got nah, grown man. ass kids. I ain't got to change diapers. She fly me out. She'll just fly exactly. us out. What the hell? <laughs> What's she talking about? Fat. Raw, Casey. She's not trying to. She's not trying to get no money from the dude. She's not. She knows how to build. That's an incredible feat to have. You know what I mean? An incredible feature to have. Like, come on. He don't know what he's talking about, man. No, nah, he, he doesn't know what he's talking about at all. He's just going for the breakdown. He's just trying to. Opportunities right there. A brother read in her DM right now, girl. He's trying to read people. That's what he thinks he's doing, but he's he's not. He's just making grown black men look stupid. That's what he's doing right now. I'm like, when one of my hotel brothers going to jump jump in there, my queen. <laughs> that, I, know about. I know she knows that she knows this is just they're gonna write her a soliloquy a bunch mm -hmm. of nonsense and at the end they're gonna put that ass fat though ain't it let me go <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and send me a pic real quick queen all due respect yeah nah he's psycho man let's keep watching let's keep watching let's keep breaking it with a 13 year old son with a sketchy baby daddy Every time I say something, and now you're asking for a man who's in the top ten percent right of now. men. She ain't even like, that's why she on her phone. She's texting you niggas, don't right? qualify for one. Like this old man wild. And you're making. I mean, I'm, I don't. I don't want to have to go there. But when you put in the, all these other factors, why can't you just get a man that's an average guy? All right, that's where I agree with him, right yeah, there. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't always have to be some six-figure dude. It could be an average dude. Yeah, dude. for sure. Yeah, that's a fact. That's, that's a fact. One, right that's there. the one gem he dropped. Why yeah. does it have to be a six-figure dude? Why can't it just be a a plumber? Exactly. Trade school's in right now, making good money doing trades. Trades is the biggest thing in the world right now. Yeah. Trade better than degrees sometimes. Sometimes it is. Keeps a consistent... So, Check coming in. Every dream might be a plumber. Heads. Yeah, who can understand her career? And he's like, yeah, I'm like, I yo, I own my own business morning. too. Yeah, he he has his own business. Yeah, he goes at five. He starts his thing. He's done at one o'clock. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he clogging pipes. He's a, he's on draining pipes. And then he's <laughs> <laughs> he piping her down afterwards. Exactly. <laughs> well, what can you ask for? <laughs> he's a pipe man. Yeah, that's so a that's a business. That right there, like. Yeah. I don't know, man. Sometimes I, it, I feel like um, that jaw is strong. I don't know what you can do. In order to yeah. fully submit, I have to feel like he's in. Well, then you're gonna then you're gonna die alone. How about that? You, all right, let me just cut to the chase, ma'am. Uh, he told her she's gonna die alone. I get that. I get what he's saying, but he was going too harsh on the physical at first. But I get what he's trying to do. But yeah, if she's looking for something she's cornering herself in to just that one thing and not opening up her horizons to wanting to meet different types of people, then she's making it very hard on herself. You know what I mean? I'm going to write a book called fuck your standards. Cause I feel like a lot of these standards that we have are Fake. unrealistic. Cause like what I wanted, I wanted a hood rat that like anime got a big old butt, maybe light skin or something. I don't know. I'm coming up with all these different things. Mm. And that person, do they exist? Yes. Does that person want me? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, the person don't want me. <laughs> so you gotta get you gotta be realistic, man. Sometimes what you have in your mind don't yeah. want you. Some some of these dudes, nah, I only want a light skinned girl that does that's this. That's stupid. That's stupid. Yeah, your girl. Yeah. The woman of your dreams might be brown skin. Yeah. 
Do you or might work at different crazy standards that you have for yourself. Yeah, oh, might work weekends. Be... You don't see them on weekends. There's some stupid like that. You can't be taller than five ten. You, you, if you tall and she tall, that might be your your thing. You out here blocking your blessing. Exactly. People do that consistently, where they block their blessings by, with ego and an unrealistic expectation of the exterior, without even trying to develop their interior themselves. You know what I mean? So. That's the world we're in, though. But you know? sometimes your standard don't want you, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. Sometimes you you looking for your African king, and your man might be Asian. Exactly. He, he's always there, just trying to hit hit on you, and you just like no. Exactly. No, Lee, I don't want to gonna... talk to you like that, Lee. Lee there for you. Lee's trying to show you the world. Show you the <laughs> you world. Lamont don't want you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, don't <laughs> limit yourself, man. That's the whole yeah, thing. Man, this, so yeah, I get what he's trying to say to her, but. But saying she's average physically, no, that's not nothing to do with nothing to build. She was trying to explain herself, and he's like, blah, 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 you're going to die alone. That's what he did, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yada, 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 you're going to die. The, yeah, he's what he's doing, He's not. I don't think he's really talking to her. He's talking to a lot of the women that he's probably come across in his life that remind him of her. So he's like talking to these girls he probably went to university with that he's exactly. seen on the internet now that ain't with nobody because they had such high standards. And she's probably just like, yo, I just, it's just, this is what I want. And she, he's taking a whole thing. He don't know if her, her, the guy who was the father of her baby was in the, was a vet in the war or something died. Oh, you, know, you know what I mean? <laughs> Served the country. He's just like that crazy ass dude. Like, it's like, what? You don't even know the guy. Like, you don't know what he went through or what, if he's even alive to take care of the kid, unfortunately. You know what I mean? Like, he's just jumping he just, through all these hoops of conclusions. He just comes off like a caricature of me when I was 18. Like, I would have been like, girl, is there a pet smart near you? And she'd be like, what? Go buy you some cats, bitch. You gonna die alone. <laughs> That's basically how he's acting. <laughs> like an 18 year old caricature of me when yeah. I was like at my highest of jackass stages. I was the king of jackasses. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. This is good. I'm not that person no more, y'all. I'm, I'm woke now. You can feel like what you want to, but women like you die alone. Oh my Straight God. up. Because you think you're better than the men that you qualify for. And the only reason, the honestly, iPhone, man, though. that <laughs> I can see a woman like yourself. Really thinking you deserve more is because you earn more because you earn more money than most people around you in North Carolina. Okay, she in North Carolina. Hey, shout out. She in North Carolina Casey. I need to hunt her down, put her on the podcast though. <laughs> Let her get her shit off, right? <laughs> Let her really get herself off. Let her get her get her message across. Uh, get her thoughts out. So highly of your opportunities. She texting some niggas right now. She ain't listening. And that's to the reality. Look, I'm gonna end the call. Men don't care about your money. Not the kind of men that you want. We don't care about your money. Yeah, that's true. It ain't ours. Just, and we care about the fact that you are older and you got kids. He missed the fact. He missed the fact. Yeah, nah, yeah, he is that facts. ass fat, though? <laughs> older kids is that ass fat, though? Yeah, he missed a couple so Completely. That blew past him. The yeah, old he's kids, too I guess, the physical. All that. I understand he's trying to scare her to. Humility. He's trying to shame the girl for what? For being thirty-five yeah. and being a successful businesswoman. What's the problem? Exactly. That ain't easy to do. It takes time. You got to really focus on yourself to really to make certain it levels. Like anybody could just make six figures. You just yeah, wake up and start. That easy. First of all, she started her own business. That ain't easy as it is. Like yeah. Come on now. And your average. Fake ass. Baby, baby face looking ass. <laughs> the reality of your life has showed you that. You don't have the kind of men that you want knocking on your door trying to find you. He'll wait for that moment. Trying to knock and get in there. <laughs> See, what I we get what he's trying to do. Right? This world is we've told women Why like yourself his verbal punishment? that you she can have it all. And you got a Prince Charming who's six foot. A hundred, uh, six feet tall, See, I can't even six hit that figure standard, income, man. jawline, all this other kind of stuff. And I'm sorry, man. No. Again, them standards, that person that she Most has in mind, average people. there. Maybe it's Especially a friend brother. People. Lame pipe. Yeah, exactly. Tripod. I mean, let's be real. Tripod, <laughs> brother. <laughs> you almost that. Got a fender girl calling me tripod. I thought she said you're a try hard. I'm like, why are you calling me? <laughs> okay. Tripod. Oh, okay. Texan. Hmm. 
I see what he's saying. I see what he's but trying to do. He's giving the toughest of love. Okay. He's trying to give the toughest of love, but I think, you know, people should just go pay for a good therapist, you know what I mean? And just, you know, get, get a real good talk, not a breakdown like this. I'm done sharing this. At the end of the day, he was yeah. doing this for clout, man. He got it. Yeah, he got it. He got it. This got spread all over the internet, right? So more people are going to be calling him. Man, somebody clapping that woman's cheeks right now. She crying because of this man. Yeah. People are probably hitting her DMs like, hey, that, that dude was wrong. Queen. I don't agree. Queen. What did that ass look like, though? <laughs> 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 I would DMs never disrespect you. He'll write two paragraphs of all this. He was wrong. I'll never disrespect you. Blah, blah, blah. P.S. Go ahead and send me a picture of that ass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that body is abno- abnormal, so I'm trying to see that thing. She did say that. She said the body ain't average. Hey, Let me find out. Confident. Let me find out. I hope there's a happy ending to the story. That's all I got to yeah. say. Exactly. But now I'm sure people are trying to find her on Instagram and find their own closure to this story like it's a movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, for some entertainment. In there, boy. Yeah. They, they putting on the, their dashiki, their, <laughs> their lighting the incense, and they, they, <laughs> typing, they typing up in that DM right now. Yep. All right, let's move on to the next topic. Yes. HBO Max releases their schedule for. Oh my God, Akio. Oh, can't believe this. Sorry, keep they going. Did. Let's explain to people what they did. So what, what HBO is doing, well, HBO Max, all these Warner Brother movies that are coming out 2021, let me just list some of them. We got Mortal Kombat, January 15th, <sighs> Little Things, Tom and Jerry, March 5th. We got uh, Space Jam 2, July 16th in the high Bullshit! If you're into Hamilton and all that dancing, you can see that. King Kong versus... Well, Godzilla versus King Kong, May 23rd. Come on, man. Conjuring, the devil made me do it. The damn devil made them do it. Suicide Squad. This is the, the reboot coming out August 6th. Dune. That one's looking a little sketchy. October 1st. That May looks 24th. great. What are you talking about? What, Dune? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Okay. You got some trailers out there that'll get you hype, and then you go see them. You're like, meh. That's been a movie in the making for the past, like, three decades or something like that, man. I don't know. But guess what, Casey? It's not in Canada? All of this for free on HBO Max the same day it's released in theaters. It's Some only bullshit. In well, screw you, Canadians. You better get it. <laughs> exactly. It's only in America. You better get it. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna get some stuff. I'm gonna get a ski 20, mask, 2021, they're like, yo, you're gonna get a new president and you're gonna get all these damn movies. Keep your ass at home. <sighs> so they said they're only doing it for one year, but they can't. They can't. They can't do this. They can't start something. You can't give me crack for a year and tell me stop. <laughs> yeah, and then, then pull it off. <laughs> nah, man. They gotta keep this going. And who else is gonna be saying they're gonna do this too? Because this is something powerful right here. I haven't they're heard so much movies. Thing. All they All they did was they released a picture of. One division's coming out January fifth next year. I don't care about that shit, man. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want to wait weekly for one episode. One division. Let me tell you something about, about that, Disney, man. man. Disney done took the whole enchilada of my paycheck, bro. I am vexed. They took the whole ninety dollars. <laughs> like what the? That's the news I got. I look the it now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the HBO news. I'm like, is HBO Max coming to Canada? When is it coming? Didn't see that. I'm like, oh, what the hell is this? Almost damn near hundred dollars got taken straight out. I'm like, nah, man. They HBO Max is dropping this news, and I'm that's the news I'm getting. This I do monthly, so thing. I can cancel any time, man. Yeah, man, it pissed me off. Take eight dollars from me every month. Yeah, and I hate it because I don't even watch. All I watch is Mandalorian, man. Yeah, me too. Like, it's been amazing though. Like, Mandalorian's like, dude, been it's, amazing. It's but... been great, but like I'm like they got they coasting off of nostalgia and Mandalorian. That's it. Exactly. Like, come on, man. What are you? Come Winter on, Spider HBO Falcon. That didn't come out. WandaVision, that didn't come out. They didn't give us Black Widow. Give us Black Widow. You already killed her. Wonder Woman's coming out just now. Like, what's going Wonder on, Woman Disney? And shit, well, how many days? 23 days. Come on, Disney. And they're just quiet. Charging people. And that's part of the, and Wonder Woman's part of, like, the DC, like, Elite 3. That's triple, man. Top dogs. And you yeah. got little old Black Widow. 
who she barely have a comic? Friends. Now we to give us that for free? They even want to give on. us Mulan. Dusty ass Mulan. Oh, they want to charge us a lot. They want to charge us thirty damn dollars. What's going on? And they want to use the dragon. They're gonna charge us more than cut out the dragon in the film. This is amazing news, though. I'm very excited to see who else comes and does the same thing because p- other streaming services have to stay afloat, too. They got, you know, people start pulling back and saying, you know what? Netflix is charging us more and they're not giving us anything that seems more better to make it justify almost hitting that $20 mark a month. You know what I mean? They came from like, what, $7 a month to now almost 20 bucks. They got to do a lot more, even though uh, the Queen's Gambit's pretty amazing. I'd say check that out. Okay, so but guess what? They got to do a lot more. Back in my day, Netflix used to come in the mail. Yeah, you gotta bring that. That's back. old people share right there. I got my Netflix in the mail. Yeah, Netflix got. I remember something. that they came a long way. Like they were the first to like pioneer streaming. Yeah, for sure. But that don't mean anything. It's not about who comes first. It's about who does it best. You're paying for nostalgia again. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, with that, I'm just like, we got bamboozled with Disney. They told us all this different Marvel properties that we were gonna get. Of course, COVID nineteen hit. And they just kept some movies in their back burner. Like, we should have got Black Widow. I'm sorry. Long time. Long Long time. time. I don't know what they're doing. This just makes Disney look so bad. (laughs) Because HBO Max is doing amazing things like Kong, Wonder Woman Alone, Dune. That's amazing. Those They could have just been like, we're dropping those three movies. And people would have been like, oh, my God. You know? Or they could have said a movie a season. And people would have been excited. This is just insane. Space Jam 2, I ain't even, I wasn't even expecting that. Snyder Cut's still movie. coming. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Suicide Squad 2 might be dope. It's probably coming, it's coming out too, like this, right? Yeah, it's coming out in August. It's crazy, this is crazy. This is crazy. And they People got the realize, game. This, this is, is big news. Warner Brothers is making some genius moves, man. Yeah. This is, this is insane news. It's honestly insane news. Cause I'm like seventeen what movies. Disney Plus. What HBO Max is killing it right now. All the stuff from the DC Universe <laughs> network I liked is on there. They're getting a Green Lantern show. I get the Snyder Cut for four hours. Go watch that. On top of all these free movies, they're Why buying eight dollars a month for Disney. Who who likes? They're like Scrooge McDuff, where they're just like, ah, oh, you're not gonna get that uh that Black Widow. I'm gonna hold this in my Yo. vault. Not even that, but I'm just saying, like, HBO got, like, the, you go go back and watch Sopranos, The Wire. They got classics under their belt. Like, Love they got Craft, if you haven't watched Love Craft, Love Curb Your Enthusiasm. Love. You know what I mean? Like, they got, uh, they got hits after hits after hits, and they're still doing hits. They got The Undoing that just came out. That was, that was great. You know what I mean? Like, nah, man, HBO is to be feared right now. If they could, if you could be like, yo, give us, you know, like when you trade a cell phone in and you, you get a next cell phone, <laughs> like, if you could trade your streaming service. For a little bit, people would be trading in Netflix and Disney. Disney looking shaky, man. Disney's like, very shaky. Uh, we didn't get anything Marvel this year. Nothing. Yeah, that's that's why I got the thing. Like, and I'm sorry, they uh, like COVID happened, yes, but they could have took a loss with Black Widow. Like, how much are they really expecting Black Widow to make? Come on. At least the What If series. Like, at least give us and part yeah, of the What, what If series. And something. Yeah, give us a, yeah, give us something. They didn't do nothing. Marvel did nothing this whole year. Entire oh. year, what the f- like Stanley on? would never. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a news oh, like, oh, we're holding back. Says, Stan, the man's gone. Yeah, man, it's. I called this in a podcast a long time ago. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I was like, I was like, yo, DC's gonna come up and you know kind of might might come up and take over. I think we had gadgets and geekery on there. Yeah, I was like, that yo. was cute. Oh but man, yeah, it's, it's, like, it sucks because I don't have the streaming service in Canada, so I'm cheesed about we'll that. <laughs> I definitely will. Don't worry, I still got a smile on my face because I know. But it just, you know, I want to support things I want to see around. The HBO next year, so. Max needs to get their shit together and get on more devices. It's not yeah, on. They need Hulu, to leave Crave. Not on PS5. Yeah. It's now on Amazon Fire mm-hmm. Sticks, and it's on PS4. Okay. And it's on Xbox, but no, you need to get with the next gen consoles. Yeah. And you need to get on Roku's, get into more houses. I think there's a contract to why they're not on Roku. I don't know. Yeah, some. I don't know. It's but some sort of contract that they can do. Why is it not on PS5? Is... It's on PS4. Yeah. I've been that's on Reddit that's trying that's to figure that out. They're just like, bro, I don't know. <laughs> 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 like nobody has a like has a oh, 
I remember last podcast we talked about Wonder Woman not being in 4K. Guess yeah. what HBO did? They're like, don't worry, baby. It's gonna be our first 4K movie on HBO Max. Enjoy on us. You see Come that? Come on, man. Do you see that? Disney would have been like ten dollars more if you want to watch it in 4K. Mm-hmm. Disney would have been like, we have the standards 10, but 4K is gonna be extra 10. So you know, 19.99 if you want to watch the 4K. Yeah. Disney, I was trying to hustle some damn buddy, man. Yeah. They're oh, the man. they're the drug dealer that don't even sell good drugs. That shit laced. You I'm reading about that. this Wonder Woman news right now. It's like, come on, man. Come on, Canada. What are you doing? Wonder Woman 1984 will air. On its Crave streaming service following its standard theatrical windows. See, because theaters are still open in Canada. So I think, I, I don't think it's going to come out right away uh, in, in Canada. Wonder so you're going gonna to be in there like Tenet with an oxygen mask watching Wonder Woman? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't worth it, man. No. Nah, nah, watch a holiday right. feel good movie, like, you'll be like trying to laugh. Ha ha! The That's all I got to say. That's all I got for the YouTube viewers. <laughs> you know what it is oh, already. Of course. <laughs> yep. The Matt, comforts of my home. <laughs> yeah, man. Holy. HBO has killed it this year, and I don't even have it. I'm so yeah. happy for the history that they're making with this whole streaming thing. They put their line in the sand, and they said, what side do you people want to be on? Come at me, bro. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they said, you want to be over there? With the man dancing all the time. Oh, yeah. All up in your songs. Put Netflix all over the place. You want to come here to Death Row Records, HBO Max. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, right. Oh, man. Hits after random, hits though, after hits. Hasbro owns Death Row Records now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> That's so random. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, no, HBO Max is killing it. They have set the standard. They have set the bar. And all these other streaming servers should be ashamed of themselves. I'm going to say it straight up. Real, real quick before we switch topics. Yeah. Do you feel like this might be the nail in the coffin to the theater no. industry? No, yeah, no. In America. No. Not completely, it, but you think it's going to like, you think it's going to like, you know, shank them a little bit. They're going to have to recuperate after that, that HBO move. Mm, no. I have no I desire think, to go to the theater. Yeah, I know, but... They're doing like rental theaters where you spend a hundred bucks, you can rent out the whole theater. I might do that for my birthday and just wild out. Yeah, so you know, like I had a whole theory with the whole COVID thing, but aside from that, the theaters Hollywood makes so much money off these investment movies that they have money for decades, especially off Universal. They'll be all right. You know what I'm trying to say? Like these are just tears in a bucket in comparison to what they have. Even though this is looking bad to last year's numbers, they have almost 70 years of success making millions and millions of dollars so i could see these movie universals the disney's maybe buying some theaters or partnering up to buy theaters and using them as like a disney theater you know what i mean and then you know you go and you see movies you want to see and if you have a streaming service pass go see it in the theater you get what i'm saying some drive-ins Drive-ins are coming back. Bring back drive-ins and yeah. just like do just hit VOD, video on demand. I love video on demand. Yeah, I could see these theaters surviving. Maybe not the companies that we know as the landmark or the Cineplex that we got in Canada. You know what I mean? It might trickle down a bit, but I could see the Hollywood um, Universals, all these different studios, kind of partnering in a different way, changing the contract. Because right now the theaters have a lot of power. That's why all these movie co- people are kind of scared of the theater. And they were scared to release things like the toe. What was it? The those movies that came out before, and they were afraid to put them out at the start of COVID. But then they did some digital. You remember that? And theaters had. You want to review problem. one of those movies, Casey? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I think that was more the director, but I get what your point is. But um, yeah. So I I, I could see theaters. I don't think this is the nail in the coffin yet. Not yet. All right, moving on, folks. We're gonna get into our last topic. It's gonna be our review. Yes. Of Christopher Nolan's Tenet. It came out during COVID-19. Some people risked their lives to go see it. That person was not me. I waited for it to show up digitally. Watched the digital copy. Casey uh, watched the digital copy. Yes. And here we are to review Tenet. If you're listening to the podcast, this is here where, where I dropped the trailer. If you're watching on YouTube, we didn't drop shit because you guys like to put us in jail. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know, man. Holy Every little come on, YouTube, show, man, they're just trying Don't to survive David out here. His face, y'all want a dollar? They, <laughs> they greedy. Like, ah, we love you, YouTube, but gosh, some greedy bastards. So All right, Tenet, so man. I watched Tenet once. I think you watched it twice. No, I watched it once. I finished it after. <laughs> I watched okay. it half, and then I watched it half. <laughs> So oh, yeah, man. How could this is a big movie? This was one of the biggest, most anticipated movies of the year. Christopher Nolan, John David Washington, Denzel's son, stars to the cast. This was the biggest thing. It was coming out in a special time in July, June, right in the middle of 2020, right in the middle of this changing, this shifting of time of of the decade. You know what I mean? So this was a very highly anticipated movie. Even the word has balance to it. T N, T E N E T. You know what I mean? Like it's a perfect symmetrical. That symmetrics of this whole thing that balance was was all there. Let's get into this review, man, because we gotta talk. This is the most divisive film of 2020 for me. I don't know for you, Casey. Things I like things i don't like there are so much things in this movie where i was like they didn't they didn't do they didn't do things like the character development in this to me was not there the set pieces were beautiful i constantly was making a story in my head to what i was hoping this was going to be while i was watching it i was like oh shit is nolan making his own james bond that we've been talking about that we want this whole time is that what we're watching right now like the a James Bond story in the making? Nah. Is this, is this a movie about sci-fi and really, you know, getting into the next level of life and looking at yourself in a mirror image and becoming and evolving as a... No. Is this an action movie or is this a drama? Is this a comedy? Is this... I don't... I don't, what the hell did we watch, Akil? Experience, experience, experience. <laughs> it was confusing. <laughs> and it was confusing for no reason. <laughs> it's like, okay, I get it. He's made amazing movies. Like, you know what I mean? It's past movies. He's done some amazing ones. I'm going to list them off. Because where they give you... Dark Knight Trilogy. The oh, my God. Universe. Yeah, but like where they give you the Inception was Inception. masterpiece... Inception was a masterpiece because it was this weird mind-bending story which made you wonder what was happening and even though we've seen the end we were like everybody was divisive which was a positive divisive you know what I mean because I think there's a there is a negative and a positive divisive and it gave you while watching the movie the rules of the world and it, it allowed you to understand the rules of the world so when you see things happen it's much more able to adjust your mind to understand why this is happening this just did it just to get to it to me like and i i love denzel's son you know what i mean I, I, Lo, nolan's one of the best directors we have this generation you know what i mean so but i don't know is he is, is he losing it because was dunkirk a great hit like it's a multi-billion like dollar was, movie but this it, was beautifully directed confusion that's where i was like yo this feels like a it could be a james bond like it's are we getting that black james bond that we've been wanting you know what i mean it had that feel I feel like it could have went for it, but it didn't. It it, it just did something. The best else way to me. describe this movie is like when you eat Thanksgiving dinner and you ate a lot and you're bloated and you're just like, why did I do this to myself? Then you sit on the toilet. You want it to end, you're trying to shit and it just won't leave your body. Mm-hmm. And you're sitting on that toilet, Casey, for two hours and thirty minutes. And it's a painful two hours and thirty minutes, Casey. Yeah, like it had great actors in here who came in for a second. They didn't really have any like reason it was just like yo you're my boy come in come in at the dinner scene and just talk for a bit you know what i mean it's like why <laughs> you know what i'm saying like could have just read that in the mail got an email like, it gave me 20 minutes of this scene why <laughs> they just tried to make it over complicated to a point like they're like oh you thought inception was a complication nah man this is the rubik's cube you know what i'm saying it's like but why this there scene comes- in the movie the guy's like tenant He'll open some doors, close a couple of doors. <laughs> That's the movie, man. <laughs> what the, what's Tenet do? Nigga, I don't know. Door might open or close, man. 
I don't know what's gonna happen when I use that phrase, man. Tell it. There comes a point in movies and in entertainment when an artist tries too hard to be deep. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was like you trying like to, a, to be abstract and deep. Yeah, to, in my personal opinion, I feel like this was that. Like it had the set pieces weren't the set pieces were great, but we seen a lot of the set pieces in the trailer. I'm, I'm gonna say, you know what I mean? And when the final act came, they didn't do a good job of developing the characters in a way that I felt to make me feel the way I should feel at the end, by the end of the film. I enjoyed pieces of the ride, but there, it, it wasn't for the reasons of the movie's job. It was just like, that's a cool set piece. Like if I just saw that little 15 minute scene, that looked dope. Like, you know what I mean? Even when you see the trailer and you're like, oh, cool. They, wh why'd they do that? You get what I'm saying? Let me blow your mind. Let me, let me interrupt you for a second. I want you to look. I want you to just look with your mind. Are you ready? All right. What was John David Washington's character's name? Exactly. Protagonist. That is exactly it. Because I read it on this thing and I'm like. Protagonist, bro. <laughs> it was like. You had no name. It was, yeah, it was like literally I'm the protagonist. And it was like, what? This is too deep. Like, it's trying too hard. <laughs> Nigga, am I the bad guy? <laughs> like, no, I know people might be listening to this right now and think Akil was just being sarcastic. No, it was protagonist. No, that was really his name. His name was really protagonist. Like, like one okay. guy in the movie's called Well Dressed Man. <laughs> I'm like, yo, okay, like, you know something? Like, I gotta watch some explained on this one. Like, I could usually catch the deep in things and catch the, you know, the bigger story they're trying to say in the movie. But this one was just like, no, nah, they're just doing it just to just to ravel the mind up. And he's great at ma raveling the mind. You know what I mean? But this one wasn't it, in my opinion. There's, there's a couple of things. Like, there's audio issues within the film. And he's had audio movie. issues, even like, with Dunkirk. Yeah. But there's people that love this movie. They're like, yo, they really connected with me. They're giving it eights and nines out of tens. And then there's other people like me that... I understood some of the meetings mm, yeah. what was going on, but at the end of the day, it was a bloated Christopher Nolan mess. It was Dark Knight Rises. I didn't really like Dark Knight Rises. Were they good moments? Yeah. The film overall as a total package, it's okay. Is it amazing? No. Is it on par with Dark Knight? No. Is it on par with Batman Begins? No. <laughs> and that's how this film is. It's mm -hmm. Dark Knight Rises. It, like, Interstellar, I really enjoyed and I love that movie, but that's where it started to get shaky for him. Like when I was watching, I had conversations with friends and I'd be like talking about Interstellar, we'd be conversating about that. And they're like, that movie was garbage. I'm like, nah, man, how's that garbage? You know, like there has never, there wasn't really that movie with Nolan for, for a long time. I'm looking at the list. There was, there was a lot of movies that he did where it was like, nah, everybody is in agreements. Like it's a hard movie. After Inception was his classic. And I feel like after that, he got shaky. You got yeah, shaky. It was a very divisive film, man. Like um, the prestige but it wasn't even ethic like... was divisive for some people. Which one? Uh, the one with the with the it was it was a uh, Christian Bale and Hugh Jackman. They're both doing like this like impossible magic trick. Oh no, that's a classic. In my yeah, opinion. like some people love that. Like I thought that movie was great, and there's some people that's that a classic. It went over their heads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this movie, I don't even think it's like a matter of it going over your head. It's just a matter of the film being so bloated the audio being hard to hear where you have to put subtitles on like if i saw this in theaters i would have been mad i wouldn't have been mad but i would have just been like like mm. like he usually has like han zimmer doing the soundtrack where it, like i walk away and i'm like okay i gotta like put that get that interstellar song i gotta get that batman song like i remember that song like it has that classic hit in his stuff his his music is usually very good even Dunkirk had a good little track in in it. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. this one, I walked away with no song where I was like, "Yo, this 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 part of this track was great. I want to get this on the soundtrack." Nothing. You didn't like that Travis Scott song at the end? It's lit. Nah, man, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. It just felt forced. It it felt well, like phoned in. He's like, "All right, I'll do a song." For it felt like, "Yo, I got a black lead. Let me get a black. Who's the biggest black act? Okay, get get one of his songs. Okay, we got Travis Scott. Pretty it, much." That's it, it felt cheap to me, honestly. But um, what was I gonna say? Oh man, I do okay with the sound. I did like from being a DJ and shit like that. I liked the way when things were going backwards, it it felt like 
when you're pulling a record backwards. The soundtrack, the the songs had that. It did the. You know what I mean? Like when you're pulling a record back. So I that I was like, oh, that's dope. Okay, they're adding in the soundtrack is on beat, but it's going backwards. So it was dope. I like the way they did that. But they didn't want if they didn't want to break down the science of things going backwards in a deep enough way that really like understandably affects things like it like they did it like a snap like they it's just it going the opposite way at the same bullets were from the speed. future yeah it was sent to the past and by catch somebody or done. people yeah but did yeah. you have did like there'll be scenes where you'll see bullets in the wall like how would he know like oh let me use this gun because this gun's going to be compatible to catch with this bullet yeah and i honestly they didn't do a good job of articulating the fight scenes like they were actually going backwards but it didn't feel like they were going backwards in a consistent basis it felt like they were just doing it for like pieces of the fight if if that's articulated properly like yeah. it, like because he actually did things backwards when he was doing the fights in real time so but it wasn't it didn't look like that because of the the gravity of your clothes and stuff wouldn't it wouldn't fall like that. It would fall like in a weird, you know, like you'd see the shirt go in a weird way, but it's, it's going in our, in our physics. You, you get what I mean? So yeah, it, that's what you're saying. It, it's like happening backwards, but you're, lo- you're looking at it and you're like, it's not backwards though. Like it looks like they're just fighting in a weird, <laughs> a weird salsa style. You know, like, you get what I mean? And it's like, he knows his <laughs> ill-ass combat, com- combat of doing flips and all this type of stuff. Why was he doing that so much more? Like, <laughs> what was disappointing? There's they set up this one set piece. It was a uh, protagonist and uh, Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson was great in this movie, by the way. Yeah, he was good. He was more charming than uh, uh, John David. Like, I was like, is this his movie? Like, he seemed like he was the lead. Most Christopher Nolan movies, Christopher Nolan gets a character who looks, who he makes look just like him, and is like this dope ass character. <laughs> so, like, that's who that is basically. So there, there's a scene where they're like. Like they're propelling up a building and I expected so much to happen but they went up the building they talked to a lady alright peace we're leaving and then they pulled <laughs> back down that was it I was like yo they about to fight some people they're gonna be shooting as they're prop- no man you're building a movie in your head better than what's being displayed on screen and you shouldn't be doing that with a Nolan movie like what Nolan when you see a little trick cause he's great at creating magic tricks on the screen like you see a little trick like that you're like Oh my God. In the third act, what are they going to do with that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like in Batman and rises, which is not his best one, but it's just off the, off the top. When he kicks the wall, the leg and you're like, Oh, what's he going to do with that leg? Like he has this thing, you know what I mean? But he doesn't do anything. But in Batman two, the classic where he gets like the things to hold on to the, to the, to the van. And mm-hmm. then he gets the things to pop off and he shoots it off later on. You're like, okay. They like, he's usually better at, doing the magician foreshadowing. yeah foreshadowing to make these things happen with these little things that you're like oh that's cool and then you see some big thing and it's like oh you propel off of something else with this yeah thing. but it's like nah, <laughs> it's like, nah. Okay. yeah so and they showed that in the trailer that's why we're going to talk about that now in the non-spoiler part you know what i mean yeah, yeah the trailer is the movie all the all the action set pieces you want to see with the car and the propelling up the building that's it really after that's uh, some dialogue He's talking to this extremely tall woman. First of all, he's like 5'10", and she's like 6'2". And they have her like just hulking over her. Hey, man, like, don't short shame. Some of those uh, Tom... You will not have short shaming in this podcast. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, they could have gave the man some Tom Cruise shoes. Why they <laughs> yeah. do him like that? They would They would never do Tom Cruise like that. Nah, no. Or yeah. Robert De Niro. They had like, him like... Oh, man, John David Washington. <laughs> John David was like this. <laughs> like... <laughs> and I didn't like her. Like as the. As and I didn't a... like the relationship. I was like... Is it didn't feel it didn't feel like I didn't feel any chemistry between them two. It felt like some slave master shit. Yeah, I thought I was gonna help you, woman. I, <laughs> I just met you yeah, and I'm gonna help like, you. <laughs> I did not feel the chemistry with her. I was like, you barely know this woman. You out here trying to risk everything. Why? That's where I was like, well, why yeah. is he doing this? Like if the sun were uh, okay, we'll get into the spoilers later, but <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay, but you know, like, man, this movie. I finished watching the movie and I just said, "Huh?" I that's was. My, <laughs> that's, that's my risk COVID for this, man. 
<laughs> people risk COVID for this. Like that was going through my head. I could not like get it out of my head. Like, yo, like, yo, people about died. Christopher for this. Nolan was ready to make people die for this shit, man. Like we we were like, you know, the picture that meme with Puff and that guy looking at each other, like, like <laughs> when they just watching. That was us and Nolan. Like, who you gonna put it out? Man, the the COVID, I was like, what if I just go by myself and I wear a mask and I social distance <sighs> for that? Yo. Nolan had people risking their life to go see this. That's that's a thing that you really got to put into this to the to this movie. Unfortunately, I mm. get he wanted to have that special thing, but he, I think this would have this would have came across way better if, if the trailers weren't as like try to sell you on this movie. If it was just like Tenet and that's it, and you're just seeing two Washingtons, just you know, protagonists on the opposite sides. They didn't have to show all the set pieces. It's Nolan, man. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, they could have left us. They could have charged us fifty bucks at the start of COVID, and we would all would have went and saw this in June you, at home. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, I would have paid fifty for this. A lot of people would have paid fifty. There's one scene I want to talk about in the beginning, but I feel like that's a spoiler. We'll get into that in like two more. Never, minutes. they never address it either. That's another thing. A lot of things are just why. He's literally a Russian guy that shows up, beats up people, then he disappears for the rest of the movie. I don't even know why he was there. He doesn't have a name. He's he's listed as driver. In the cast. It's like, oh my god! And, <laughs> and like, who is he? Like, okay, like you know, like they get celebrities in, in in movies. So when you see something happen, you're like, oh, okay, this is an important person. Who is he? You know, like they, man, like that movie that we watched with the on Netflix with the with the uh, with the dude who played Batman. I know I'm getting lost in what I'm saying, but I'm they put him in one. there. It was the judge movie with the the Black Panther guy who was in the court, and the they got that role, that guy who played Batman in the original Batman, the nineteen eighty nine Batman, so that when you oh, see that character, that's what you're talking about. Yeah. you're like, oh, who's he playing? Who's he? You know, so you're like, oh, it's that guy. You know that they do that on purpose. This they put some random Russian dude. It's like, who is he? Like, if you're gonna have him like this, guy everything, man. <laughs> you yeah. know, you don't even remember who he is. I don't know who this guy is. I see he was in Limitless. He beat up Bradley Cooper. How long ago? That's a decade ago. <laughs> and then he was on Watchmen. He's like, I'm, I'm the Russian bad guy on the, on the Watchmen. That's Watch not show. it, man. Yeah, no. Like for a role like that, you got to have somebody. So you're like, oh shit, him. I was expecting <laughs> Matthew McConaughey or somebody to be like somebody a familiar right. face. You're, see, when you see him, you're like, oh, you know what I mean. You get that feeling, like, oh shit, I know him. I see. Right, so let me get my rating real quick before we get into spoilers. Yeah, of course. Just like that lady's face we talked about earlier, a six. Yeah, this gets a solid six from me too, man. I'm on. I gotta say, I I might watch this again later on down the line. Two hours and thirty minutes. You have to set aside, make sure you put <laughs> it on closed caption so you can hear every detail. Out of respect Here for this guy, sleep, and you gotta be laser focused. Out of respect for Nolan, man, and his level of of artistry, I gotta watch this again and give it another chance. But off watching this the way that we watched it, ah, oh, man. I, I, Nah, man. Canceled my 4K it. pre-order, Casey. I'm going to wait for the bargain bin. Yeah, I'm going to wait for the bargain bin, too. But I'm going to watch it again. I'm not I'm saying watching, I'm going to watch man. it again anytime soon. Not this month. <laughs> but, uh, you know, maybe in May. <laughs> know what you I know watched what I'm over, saying? Casey, in 4K that just came out? And it was, it was amazing. Let me Late. Get <laughs> oh, my God. He punched a child. <laughs> woman. He punched every... He cussed out the police. All I got to say, if people can go watch Justice League again and again... <laughs> You could watch. You could give this a chance if you didn't like it, and that's how yeah. I feel. Like I'm gonna give this another chance. I gotta maybe watch a couple of like breakdowns on YouTube or something. You know what I mean? Because this one was deep, and and you know I honestly feel like it wasn't that deep, but it was trying to be super deep. But the science behind this stuff, it did not. It's convoluted. It's convoluted. And let, let's get into spoilers, man. And as as and, the hipsters say, it was pretentious. That's it. It was. It was pretentious. This was. He, like he was lost in the artist's sauce. Like he was, he was lost like, in the sauce, man. He was Christopher Nolan. Out of his mind, like, so deep. We, we are tenant right now. We're we're two zero two zero. We're tenant right now. We do not right now. understand the technology tenet, of the mind state of the man, because you are stupid Canadians and stupid Americans. You don't understand the, the deep philosophies of, <laughs> of <British> Nolan. Casey, <laughs> <laughs> that's my British accent. All right, let's get um, into spoilers, man. I'll let, you, let you, I'll let you rip it off right off the top. All right. So you they, asked me a good question. They ripped this man's teeth out, man. <laughs> they ripped my guy's teeth out. 
they beat his ass, they rip his teeth out. He goes for this pill that's supposed to, you know, like in, uh, those suicide pills that the Nazis have. He grabs one. Yeah. It's on Monday. They ripped his teeth out. Yeah. A damn train's coming to run him over. My guy took his pill. DED, right, Casey? Dead. That's what I thought. He, he wake up in the hospital. We built, we rebuilt your mouth. Welcome to the tenant program. That pill you took was a placebo. It does nothing. Nigga, what? <laughs> and then before he could say that, tenant, it opens some doors. It'll close some doors. <laughs> it's like, what? I was what? Like, <laughs> he even explained his mission. He's just like, my job here is done. Like, he just dipped out. <laughs> Did we ever see that guy again? No. That's what I'm saying. I don't think I was... he had a name. And the like, way this what? movie set up, he could be Robert Patson from the damn future that came no. back. To Robert Zilla. Patson's dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that little boy. That's that little boy he saved. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> could be Robert oh, Patterson. The circle continues. Tenant. Exactly. The tenant. I was like, what? Okay. They were doing all this to save the world? I don't know what he was trying to say. Some, that boy. All I remember was Robert Patson saying, hey, bruh. You trained me. And the day Denzel Washington was like, word? Yeah, in the future. All right, Look, then. Man. The end. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Robert, I liked you in this movie. You weren't that great. I ain't shed no tears when you die. <laughs> you know, I know. Like, I see the backpack with the little loop. I was like, that's a, that's a very, like, how do we know all these soldiers don't well, have a loop? He died, Casey? That's how, that's how much I was invested. He died? <laughs> he died. When? You see? They did it so quick. <laughs> What? Okay. <laughs> There's a part in the movie when the Russian comes back finally. First, he pulled the teeth at the beginning the poop, of the movie. The now, pulled? he randomly comes at the end of the movie. I don't remember who he is. I but he points a gun. Off, bro. He goes, kill him. And he points a gun at Washington, the protagonist. Time. And he oh, yeah. shoots. And then somebody runs right into the way of the bullying. It's shot in the head and falls really quick. Uh-huh. And... That's Robert Pattinson. Man, this movie made me feel like I was high. So they did it so quick. Because you see him reaching. He, you see him. I thought he talked to Robert Pattinson, back. though, at the end. So he died? They went. Robert Pattinson, what he did was he realized that they're not going to get into the um, area they got to get into in time. They're not going to make it because the time is running out. So Robert Pattinson, instead of following the mission that all the blue team was doing in Go- um, so in Gotham fucking, City, <laughs> no, in this in this <laughs> random ass movie that out of nowhere now we have a Call of Duty Red versus Blue, when he realized his blue team was not gonna make it in time, he U-turned and he went into the the reverse time, and he did something he wasn't supposed to do, and he got shot in the head. He had his backpack on the floor with the little ring with the red string. Yeah. <laughs> so stupid. So it showed the protagonist trying to do something and it showed the bag on the floor with a dead body. But Denzel he got shot in the head. His son died already too in the car accident. It's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you what it was. That's how I saw it. I could be wrong. If, you, if, you, if you're saying I'm wrong. He accident when he went back in time. I'm saying. But, like, let's just stay on this thing right now. So, Robert Pattinson, remember when he was honking the horn? When he was driving the car yes. to them? He's honking the horn for them not to run into the thing? Because he was like, yo, I know the other way to get in. Mm-hmm. Don't go. And they went and the thing got blown up and fell. And they were trapped. Robert Pattinson went. He was honking the horn. He went the other way, went in. And then he went around where the Russian guy was. Instead of going the long way, he found the next route. And then he ran right in the way of the bullet and got popped this in the head mad, Casey. and then he fell so quick and then all this stuff was happening with the protagonist and the russian and how he... we see two different movies <laughs> stand it baby <laughs> two different movies man the, the, oh, that's, on your that's what happened to patterson that's why it was so dramatic when he was like yeah man i'm going back in he's like you're going back in so washington's why? son died when he went back in time with the bass and he crashed and then the car exploded Yes. Him dead. He, he's gone, gone. Then what the, this movie, okay, this is my theory. He's dead. This movie is just purgatory. This stuff's just playing out in his mind. He's dead. Nah, man, this is Inception. That, that was Inception, I mean. This one's something else. What the hell is this? This is, 
Is he and like where he's gonna just keep repeating? It's not even ground. No, he I became. This is. He is high. I am. I am him. He is high and high as him. <laughs> like I don't know. This movie is just trying to be confusing. That's what I'm saying. So like he was the trainer this whole time, and Robert Pattinson didn't tell him once that like yo you're the trainer because he didn't want to mess anything. He didn't want to mess the timeline. So like watching, I was like yo Robert Pattinson's the bad guy. What the hell? He's not. He's knowing things and he's not doing things. Like he remember when he saw. Um, the protagonist Washington like running because the mask mm. came off when he got in the fight and got stabbed in his arm and he was like and he threw him the mask and ran he knew what was going on but he didn't want to mess anything up so it was like okay why don't you guys just kidnap get the girl to finesse what's with that girl and the little boy what's the big significance of that little boy okay the dude my understanding of this movie was the dude okay. figured out by a an explosion happened and he figured out that you can create this reverse time and reverse technology with that. And he made himself the atom of that technology. So if he dies, the whole thing unravels, like breaking I a thought, in half. This is what I, I thought it was My like a Bond movie where he put a pacemaker that will explode once his, his heart stops beating. Maybe, maybe because he kept checking his heart. He kept checking his heart all the time. I was like, okay, dope. they're doing the spawn. They bring the nah, man. The he was just chilling. He was just an asshole. <laughs> but my thing was, why don't you kidnap dude? Why don't you just finesse dude? Get the girl to be like, yeah, let's go on the boat. And just bag him up. Keep him alive. Put some protein in him and just keep the dude alive till you can figure out how put to... Put him on ice. Yeah, just put him on ice. Like, what the hell? Didn't there be multiple versions of that guy because he kept going back and forth. Well, like, like there's, there is this such a big catastrophic life world saving thing, and you're telling me you're leaving it up to two people to figure this all out and a and a random, um, friggin' Atlanta housewife. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, the Middle Eastern dude, he helped for a little bit, and they did like the, the they made it seem so easy to explode a plane. Do you know how hard that is to do? Like, man? Yo, the vest on, you could do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the Middle Eastern dude, we gotta give him his props because he did a great job. I was like. Why didn't he have a more serious role in this movie? Because he was doing his thing. But, like, they didn't give him a role. They just had like him as, like, the TSA side guy. Please, bro. Hmm? They're like, TSA could do anything they please. Because he just put the TSA vest on. They clearly clearly saw him come out that plane that's about to explode. Nobody questioned him. They're just like, he has a vest. Just running by <laughs> with, a, with a body. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. I guess everybody was looking at the gold on the floor, but they didn't articulate good enough that everybody should, all those people should have been diving on the ground trying to take gold yeah. to show that they're distracted. But instead, they just show one guy go, <laughs> put it in his jacket, a heavy ass block. He had a brick like this, and he's just like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put it in my <laughs> in my jacket. You know what I mean? I was like, what? Nah, that's not good articulation. Like if you're writing something and you're reading that, you're like, and one man takes a brick and puts it in his jacket. And the other 300 men who were there on the field of the flight place is like just with their guns still looking around. No, come on. Everybody should have rushed. It should have been a big scene. Like the set pieces, they should have kept that stuff for us and not to see. And they looked nice and they were shot well, but I'm just like... It's a- when you see it happen in the trailer, you're going to be like, what are they going to do with the plane? Are they flying the plane down and crashing it? Because that's pretty risky to do with all the things that's that happened in 9-11. With better, did better things with planes. Than what way, they- better, way better. Way <laughs> better. Dom, Dom honest. Dom did it better. Dom, Dom did, did the it better, man. better, man. <laughs> Dom did it better. Dom and the family. Dom had people online questioning if a car could actually drive at that time and speed to be able to get to the plane. They had people breaking down the science. Like, oh, Dom did it, man. I think I could try it. People aren't going to break down the science of that scene, man. People are already forgetting that scene. I'm telling you. Like, it was just a plane crashing into a, a, a fake. It looked like they just added that part on to an airport. It didn't even look like it was like a beautiful glass. It didn't look like the plane could even fit in there. It looked like they just built that quick to crash a plane into it. It looked... It looked now, cheap. Do you the set like pieces. This is the movie that launches John David Washington into like other action roles, or yeah, did this movie not stick its landing? To do that? The movie didn't stick its landing, but he did his job. He did his thing. I'm not mad at him at all. He worked and did what he had to do. Like, like there were just the only thing I didn't like about his character in this, his acting, was when he. When a character is like, and what does that do? You know, when they're out of, all of a sudden this genius spy and they be, they become stupid. Like, but wait, how do I get there? Just so the audience could get this 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 reel of 
of explanation to make the movie make sense. Yeah. I didn't like the way he was all of a sudden this dumbass who's like, wait a minute, how does the articulative symmetry work? The you know, it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Explain huh? that for me. Yeah, they kept doing that. Like it's like extreme. okay, <laughs> like it worked in Inception, but they were on a same level of like, you know, like this. It felt like he was like smart, and then he just went dumb. Like, but why do that? It's like you're about to risk your life to do this. You don't. You didn't read a book about this first. You get what I'm saying? You didn't read the map. Like, so that's where I was like, okay, you're doing it too much. You can't do this over explaining in a movie so much, and the payoff isn't there. So that's why I was like. The payoff ain't there. They they should have showed us like people the that guy love as a kid. It, man. I, I want those people that love it to write us and like explain. I'm not saying it's a bad movie that you have to agree with us. I man. just want you guys to explain because I, I fell asleep. I fell asleep in the middle of the movie. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I did. I was trying hard to watch this. I was like, man, I gotta get back to it. I looked at the clock. I'm like, I still got an hour and something. I fell asleep too. Man. I was on. the only one. I fell asleep on the couch. That's why <laughs> I didn't. I was like, I watched half an hour. Because at the end, oh the boy oh started dozing, God. and then I have to hear that Travis Scott is lit. I was like, oh. <laughs> I had full energy sitting down. I was excited. I was like, this is the movie of the year. I've been wanting, to, waiting to see this for, since I seen the first trailer. That it was, was easy to say. The movie has pacing issues. Definitely, it's too long and too much explaining, and then those payoffs aren't there. Like the big set piece fights. I seen it in the trailer. I seen the bullets hit the thing in reverse in the trailer when it hits the glass in reverse. I was like, you're not gonna do anything bigger in reverse to make me like, is the plane gonna come out in reverse? Like, what are you gonna do that's dope? Nothing, we seen it all. So it's like, nah, man, they did a bad job with this. And i be honest, like, I love this guy, man. That's why I'm gonna give it another chance. But this was a dud in my opinion. Stuff got shaky with me when they went to visit that Indian, that Indian woman and they propelled and the up and then they went back down. And yeah, and like the well, dude, her husband was the bad man, and then all of a sudden he's a tea maker. He's like, y'all want cocktails? They set everything up to like, yo, they have all these guys with guns coming. I was like, we're about to get this fight scene. Yeah, I was like, give us a fight scene there. Dude comes up, y'all like pina coladas or what, bro? I'm like, who is this guy? <laughs> And the the girl's a boss. I was like, okay, that's cool. But the dude, why do you have to become some big softy after? Like, do you like, like two sugars in tea, or do you uh, do you remember that? Like, he had, I remember his that. whole character changed. He had a gun to his head. He's acting hard. And then after a while, he's like, I'll get you guys some drinks. I don't know if you got like, like two sugars or one cream. Yeah, I can put my true self down. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? this guy was a boss from five minutes ago. He's like, yeah, do what you must. You're yelling in my face. That means you have no advantage. You know, I'm like, okay, this guy's a bad man. But then after. Man comes shaking an ice cup. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. want, I have some gluten free options if you want. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's like, I'm vegan. What about you? You know, I was like, what? <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up, man. So, yeah, I want man. People online to let us know what they think of Tenet. Dud. I'm definitely going to watch some more breakdown videos. And I'm gonna Wait, how do you spell Dud? With closed caption on. What about you, Casey? You gonna revisit it, or you gonna you gonna wait a while before you revisit it? Yeah, I'm waiting a while before I revisit this, man. I'm waiting a while. I'm I'm gonna definitely watch some YouTube explains, and I want to hear some people who gave it a nine out of ten and a ten out of ten. I want to hear how this movie was great. You lost. I, I love this director as a writer director, but don't be lost in the sauce, man. You got to be telling people when the shit is whack too. <laughs> like you got to be honest with people. Say it's whack, but uh, this ain't it. It's not it. And maybe it's too deep for me, but this was like I love deep, thought-provoking stuff, and this this was like just doing it just to just because to do it. You're raveling something up just to unravel it. In I was ready to like, dive into the deep end, Kitty um, Casey, but I ended up swimming in the kiddie pool. This was in the kiddie pool, thinking it was deep. Cause I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> this was like just I was like around. the third set piece. Bust up your head. The third set piece was like it looked like they just did it in Arizona, made the color saturation a little little bit like drier they brought down the, you know what i mean and then they put up some blocks some concrete blocks and they're like okay you're gonna run into that and then you're gonna run it down the stairs here and then we're gonna take you to the sewer system and that's where we're gonna have the big bad fight with the russian guy who everybody's gonna remember from the, the first the guy in the beginning <laughs> it's like what <laughs> i feel like they ripped out that man's teeth for no reason the, the only thing i gotta give props to because i just saw this christmas the other day remember the movie with chris brown yeah Remember the scene where she puts the oil on the floor and starts whipping him with the belt? Yep. That was the only part of this movie. I was like, oh, shit. She's put the, the thing on the floor to trip him up and <laughs> start whipping him like with a belt. I thought she was going to do that scene in this movie, but she kind of did. 
Nolan saw that scene from this Christmas and he basically just did it to the like, extreme in this. Those black people are something once <laughs> yeah. that happened. But, but he, did, he took a body and he just threw it off the boat and made it back, hit, hit, hit the back and fall into the water. I was like, oh shit, okay. That's Nolan saw that and he was like, That's okay. like dropping marbles on, marbles on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, but he, she slid him off there, man. That was great. That was the one part I was like, oh shit, this Christmas. I literally just saw that movie. So it, like... The scene was completely like, it was the same thing. She was like, yeah, baby, I got you. Don't worry. And it was a complete finesse. You know what I mean? Then the grease was on the floor. I was waiting for her to get a belt and just start whipping him while he's on the floor. Like, damn it, baby, damn it. Come on, baby. You know, you know. With that belt buckle. <laughs> but she just pushed him right off. I was like, okay, it's cold, cold shit. I don't remember her name. I don't know, man. They all had like one names, like, be like Bob, Neil, Steve. They weren't like, they never felt like fully fleshed out characters. I didn't care about none of them. I didn't give a shit. I even care about protagonists that sometimes. I didn't like, care about died. protagonists. No, he didn't die. He became the man. He's, he is. Died tiny. in that car, man. The car blew up. I saw the man die. Nah, man. He lost his teeth on Monday. Got it back on Tuesday. Looking cleaner than ever. This man died like, twice man. in the movie. I was like, damn, they couldn't have gave him the, the Joe Budden teeth. You know what I mean? Robert Pattinson's <laughs> name couldn't was have gave Neil. him the Tory Lane's you know teeth. Case? Neil. Huh? Neil. What? Oh, he got Neil. a real name? The character's name was Neil. Oh, Lord. The kid's name was Max. It's like, come on, man. He was what Barbara. Here? The, the, the tall woman, I think. Was this Barbara. must be something deeper to this movie that we're just not seeing. I'm not ready for it, man. So I'm going to watch some. I'm not watching this movie for a while. April, May. But this, the, I'm going to watch some YouTube videos, breakdowns of how this is ill. You know, I got to see people's explanation. I got to be, I got to see. I missed something, maybe. Maybe I missed something. Maybe it's me. Yes, maybe we maybe, both missed something. Let maybe I, I, I um, needed that Kool-Aid. Maybe maybe we didn't drink that Kool-Aid. You know what I mean? Maybe it didn't work on us. Maybe, on us. Yeah, I, I want to know. I want to get it. I want to enjoy this movie. I wanted to watch this and be like, oh my God, this was the one. The I had the 4K. Yeah. The I, was, I was ready to get that 4K. Even though I seen it, I was like, okay, I'm going to get that 4K. That's going to be my first 4K. Now I'm like, nope. oh man, I could wait on that. Let's <laughs> buy Black Panther on 4K. Let that be your get, first 4K. Exactly. I'm gonna get a 4K. I'm gonna get that when it's 7.99. Bulk, bulk when I'm at Walmart That's buying my when I'm buying my chicken, broccoli. You know what I mean? My groceries and all that. <laughs> and I see Tenant in the bucket, and I'm like, oh shit, Tenant. Five bucks? All right, that's nice. All right, why not? <laughs> Throw that right there between between my groceries and some some clothes, some home clothes. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, I guess that concludes our tenant review and concludes yeah. this episode of the Back in the podcast. Yes, it does. We'll let you go. We'll let y'all know where you can reach us. Reach us at the Back in Now Squad at gmail.com. That's B A C C H A N A L Squad at gmail.com. Facebook, we are the Back in Now Podcast fan page. Hit us up there on Instagram and Twitter. We are the underscore Back in Now Podcast. It's the one school symbol in that lower line. B A C C H A N A L. Back and now. And that's it for us, man. Make sure that you hit us up. The we'll queue, be on the Instagrams. We might take a little break here. Uh, I think we'll be back for Wonder Woman. Yeah, for sure. Come we'll back for that. Some wild news pops up or a random interview pops up. We'll be back for Wonder Woman and take a little quick hiatus. The queue, man. Grow your hair. Girl, the hell? Yeah. What's left of it? One last ride. Yeah, man, that's what I'm doing. I see a little <laughs> spike, a little thinning. I'm like, you know what? One last one last lap. You know what I mean? I just got <laughs> to have a little fun with it first. Put my fingers through it one last time. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> uh, it's coming, man. It's coming for us. You know what I mean? You can rock the baldy because you're going to just look like Denzel and Equalizer, the first one. <sighs> yeah, I could do a thin little, like a low, low, low thing. You know what I mean? Ah, like, equalizer. One, one last ride. One last ride, man. Ride with me, cuz. Ride with me. Don't you want to ride with me? <laughs> That's so fast. If it, come on, fam. Marathon continues, man. Let's do it. <laughs> Hop in Mario Kart. Let's do no. it. No. <laughs> one last braid up. <laughs> Not ready. You know, braid my hair R. Kelly style. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm no, 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 no. I'm going to just grow out like certain areas and then the top. It's Coolio's style, man. Look at Coolio's confidence, man. You know how confident you got to be to be like that? Man? You know how confident you got to be to be Coolio? Uh, That's the shit ever, man. Come on, the man. For that, Casey, just ride it out. <laughs> yeah, man. One last ride, man. Like, All right, this cool, episode is going to be titled TNT, man. Just like Tenet. Yeah, Jesus. TNT. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is the Back in Now podcast. Peace. Peace.